The lawsuit was filed by attorney David Lujan on behalf of Carl Gutierrez, Frank Uggen Jr., the Democratic Party of Guam, and 1,000 John Doe's, citizens of Guam, all of whom, the lawsuit alleges, were illegally and arbitrarily deprived of their right to vote. Among the factual allegations in the lawsuit, locked ballot boxes were opened at polling sites, secret ballots were removed and exposed to the public, Ballots were removed by Guam Election Commission Executive Director John Blas, who transported them to other polling sites. Absentee ballots were destroyed or removed. Absentee ballots were not mailed to voters who requested them. Absentee ballots were mailed too late for voters to return them in time. Registered voters were turned away at numerous polling sites and not allowed to vote. The chain of custody was compromised when ballots were secured and held by a private security company owned and or controlled by Republican Lieutenant Gubernatorial Candidate Ray Tenorio. The number of ballots issued to voters did not match the number of ballots returned at various precincts. Residents of other U.S. jurisdictions like Saipan were allowed to vote in Guam's election. Underage voters were allowed to cast ballots. Illegal ballots were counted. Voting tabulation machines malfunctioned. The lawsuit also reveals new totals in the election count. Calvo Tenorio, 19,879, or 50.38% of the vote. Gutierrez Uggen, 19,296, or 48.9% of the vote. 484 votes were over votes. 702 were under votes. And on the issue of those over and under votes, the lawsuit notes that the tabulation machines rejected those types of votes on November 2nd, election night. But the Election Commission board members spent much of their time during the recount on November 6th trying to determine voter intent from those over and under votes. But that process, too, comes under criticism in the lawsuit, which states, The machine recount included numerous incidents of ballots being chewed up, mutilated, by the machines. And there were problems with several machines. Several additional recounts had to be done for at least six precincts. But despite the fact of the obvious failures of the tabulation machines, the GEC accepted and certified the results of the machine recount. The lawsuit cites violations of the Fifth and Fourth Amendments, the Guam Organic Act, and the Help America Vote Act which all guarantee that a citizen's right to vote may not be arbitrarily denied. The lawsuit seeks a declaration from the court that the results of the election for governor and lieutenant governor certified by the GEC were legally invalid, and an order requiring the GEC to schedule and conduct a new election at the earliest practicable time. Kevin Kerrigan, PNC News.